Let people know you're coming, you mean business. What's up, brother? Guys, Johnny Nerd out here. It's been a while since I've done a custom e-bike build video. Unless you're just watching these videos like on, you know, next suggested video and you're just watching them, then you're like, I've seen enough of your videos. But for those of you who watch them as they come out, it's been a while since I've done a custom e-bike build video. So this one's exciting. This one is the first one of the photons. This is the CYC photon on one of my favorite bikes, the Specialized Roll. So if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time stumbled upon here, you were looking at Norwegian kite flying contest videos, and then this got to be your next suggested video. You're like, whoa, what, what is this guy? Oh, those are some, some cool shorts he's wearing. What is this guy all about? I am a professional e-bike conversion specialist. I sell all these parts. I go to johnnynerdout.com. That's where I go whenever I'm trying to buy something. Um, I also convert bikes. I help you convert your own bikes. I do consultations. If there's anything you need to do with custom e-bike conversions, trust me, I'm the guy. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna go over this bike, what we did to it, what makes this bike cool, and go over the motor system and what's funky and cool about this new guy. Specialized roll. I, I just have a soft spot in my heart for this bike. It's a super comfortable bike. Look at me. It's, it's a little bit up higher. I got the seat a little bit higher because I'm using this for commuting. This bike is for me. I built this for myself, actually, you guys. Um, full disclosure. I've, I, this, this bike was on uh, my bucket list, and the photons came out, and I was like, I need to build one so I, so I could understand how they work. I need to be riding. I ride these motors. I don't just sell them. I ride these things. And I wanted to do this conversion um, because I wanted a nice, comfortable, super solid bike. That's what this, this bike is all about. Um, put some fenders on it. It's got 27 and a half by 2.35 inch tires. Yeah, 27 and a half by 2.3 inch tires. So they're, they're fat, but they're road tires. So they're, it's a pretty smooth, pretty smooth riding bike because those fat tires gobble up a lot of the road noise. If I was looking for like a long distance range commuter, I'd probably put a little bit skinnier tires on it because you know, the wider you go, the more comfortable it is, but the less efficient it becomes. But this one is a great bike. <laughs> I got it decked out exactly how I want it to be. This bike, and check out, I'm gonna do another video on it. I have a, a Surly Bill trailer that I put behind here with, that can tow 300 pounds. So I really don't need a, a rack. I got an eight foot trailer that, or six foot trailer, whatever it is, that just tows everything. So I don't really need a rack. But anyways, I put in the new hydraulic disc brakes. This had mechanical disc brakes. I upgraded them to the hydraulic disc brakes that are plug and play with the CYC. They also work for Bafang. They work for pretty much any, I think it's a three pin high go connector. If you have two pin, you could just get an adapter. I sell adapters on my website. So these are, these work. You don't have to glue on the magnets. You don't have to mess with that. That was like the biggest pain in the butt every time I ever do that. Forget it. Um, I got a Delta phone mount up here. So it holds my phone in, got four points of contact, screws into the stem piece right here. Um, I got the CYC Photon dual headlight system here. It's got a little toggle switch here, so it uses yellow lights or white lights. It's very nice, dual beam, super bright. Yeah, it's a, it's a good light sit, set. Plugs inline XT90 connectors with this system. The motor uses XT90s, just an FYI. So if you're getting a battery, make sure you get an XT90 connector to work with the photon. Uh, throttle that comes with it is really nice. The, the CYC is definitely an upgrade over the stock Bafang throttles in my opinion. This one has a lot more feathering action on it. Bafang ones, they're starting to use a different throttle now, but for the most part, they're still just like an on off switch. I don't really like the stock throttle. If you're going with Bafang, get the handed one, get the left handed throttle. It, it acts like this one. Um, got a mirror on it. I do commuting. Like I, I ride on the road with this thing. This is a must have. You've got to have a mirror. This is the miracle mirror. And I got a bell. <laughs> got to use it. Get the Incredible. It's a nice small one. Nice action. Nice sound. I got the uh, Kryptonite Evolution lock. This one is nice. I don't want this thing to get stolen. This is super hardcore. Um, super heavy duty lock. People always ask me what kind of lock should I get. I like these ones. They're super flexible. They can go around a lot of stuff. You can't take a car jack to like pop it. Yes, no lock is 100% safe. 
but this one it's pricey but i'm gonna have my bike at the end of the day as long as i <laughs> for the most part there's like i said nothing is foolproof but you try to get it as close to 100 percent as you can i um, got a 52 volt 17 and a half amp hour battery i've been getting about 60 mile range off of this because this is a torque sensor this is a lot more efficient than the Bafang cadence sensor because the more pressure I put on, the more power it does. But if I'm only putting a little bit of pressure, the motor's only giving out a little bit of pressure. So, man, I could go down the rabbit hole on, on torque sensing versus cadence sensing. I've got other videos up on it if you want to check that out, take a look at it. You're either going to you're going to like one or the other. Torque sensing feels nicer, but it requires you to do more work if you want more work. Some people are like, "I don't like this. I thought I was getting an e-bike that was going to be giving me more assist, but I didn't want to be getting a workout. You don't have to, there's always a throttle here. Turn it up all the way to your highest pedal assist level. That's where I ride all the time, highest pedal assist level. And then I just either put a little bit of pressure and the motor just goes slow. And if I need to go, I put pressure on it and it shoots me off. So I like riding on that, that way. Everybody's different. Um, it's got a seven speed transmission. I really like seven speed. People are always asking me like, oh, I got a I'm looking at this one bike, should I get it in the 10 speed, 11 speed, or the 12 speed version? I'm like, get the 10 speed, get the, you don't want 12 speeds on an e-bike, at least I don't. I don't want 12 speeds, I don't even want 11 speeds, probably don't even want 10. I want seven, eight, maybe nine. That's about, a, that, besides that, it's just, you're just clicking gears all the time. So seven speeds, it's actually, this is perfect. Um, and even towing a trailer, this is only like a 30 tooth or something, it's fine. I got a 38 tooth up front. Um, the Photon right now only comes in 34, 38, 42, and 50 tooth. So there's not a ton of options. The good thing about this motor though is that the chain line is way better than the Bafangs. It's just, it comes in. Bafang, you've got a lot of problems with chain line offset. And that's why they make lecky chain rings that bring them back in. This one, you don't need it. Like stock chain rings are great. Like CYC did a great job getting that good so you don't need adapters to mess with your chain chain line too much I mean, of course there's going to be certain situations where you're going to need to another cool thing about cyc is their wiring harnesses so right now i'm using a four to one wiring harness it's got which means that it's got four cables one for the throttle one for the display two for the brake cutoffs and it goes into one cable they have options for two to one so you could just run your display and your throttle you don't have to have brake cutoffs it's a torque sensor so you don't need it i would still recommend it or you can even go one to one you could just run your display you need a display for it to run that's like your monitor for your computer you need a monitor for your desktop to work you could just have this you don't need to have a throttle or brake cutoffs you could just have pedal assist in your thing and that would be a really clean install so if someone's looking for a really basic install get the one-to-one -one cable again i carry all this stuff at johnnynerdout.com you could also order it all from cyc direct they're in Hong Kong though, it's gonna take you a long time to get it. Um, but that's just really cool that they have these options out there. You can see the motor itself is pretty small. It's a lot smaller than pretty much any motor out there. RPM, max RPM is about 4,000 RPM. That's the inner motor. So it does spin fairly high. Torque, I'd say it's not quite as torquey as the Bafangs, but top speed, it's, it's just as fast, if not maybe a little bit faster. These are rated at 750 watts, but you could get the app and you could unlock it so it'll be 40 amps. And times 52 volts, that's over 2,000 watts. So this thing could pull a lot of power. It's almost three horsepower. So it could pull more wattage than the BBS HD can. So in theory, it can do more work. However, in my experience, I don't think these things are meant to really handle 40 amps a lot. If you're planning on pushing a lot of power through it like that, get the BBS HD. These like to be, these like to stay locked in at 25 amps. Or if you are going 40, I have this one unlocked at 40, but I, I'm rarely pushing it like that. I, like I never use the throttle. I keep an eye on my temp gauge. I always keep it under 130 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, motor temperature. I'm very mindful of that. I know that motors don't like to get hot. As long as you keep an eye on your motor temperature and your controller temperature gauge, which this has, you, you should be fine. But that being said, I think a lot of people are gonna to wanna to hot rod this and just ride it like a dirt bike and they're gonna have issues, especially if they're unlocked. Um, coming back up to the display here, I got the SW102. 
display here. I like this because it's a nice small one. It's the same form factor as like the Egg Rider, which I have on my other bike, my Bafang bike. But this one's nice because I could, the, the, there's Bluetooth in the controller down in the motor. So I could use that to program and make adjustments to the controller from my phone in real time. It's, it's awesome. It's just like the Egg Rider and I could see all my data and stuff on my phone. So I just need a little tiny display here. And this little display will still tell me tons of data. Like, it's awesome. I'm really impressed with this little tiny display. I'm, I'm gonna see this probably selling more than the DS103, which is their other option. There's only two options right now. If you're watching this in the year 2064, there's probably three options. I think they probably came out with another display by now, hopefully. But if you want the DS103, it's like a center mount one. It's a little bit bigger. So if your peepers aren't working too good like they used to, you might want to get the 103. But this one still has a big display, tells you how fast you're going, nice and big. I think that's all I want to talk about this. Let's go do a, a performance test. Let's see how this thing climbs hills and does top speed. All right, so you can see the, the, you know, I like to do my hill climbing from a dead stop at like the worst place to start. And this thing got up there pretty much no problem uh, from a dead stop. <laughs> so this thing's got plenty of, plenty of power. And this is not the greatest gear ratio. It's like 38 to maybe 30. If I put like a 34 or if I switch this out and I put like a one to one gear ratio on this, this thing would, would haul a little bit better up those hills. Uh, top speed, 34. Betcha, I've gotten it up faster, especially if I'm pedaling. 40 miles an hour on, on these bikes are not out of the question. It's about the same speed though as a BBS HD. I, I always tell people, I'm like, 40 miles an hour, depending on what kind of bike you put it on, especially if you're pedaling it, you can do that. If you're going all out and you're pedaling, you're gonna be hitting 40 miles an hour, which is crazy fast, dangerously fast on a bicycle. So yeah, that's pretty much the overview of this bike. I really, really, really enjoy it. All right, later guys, have a good one.